welcome, welcome to my channel of Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. This is Pastor Florence. Uh, today is one of those days I bring you a word of inspiration. First and foremost, I want to thank God for the gift of life. I thank God for the privilege of sharing His word. And I do not take it for granted because I know it has taken His grace for me to be doing what I am doing. I also want to thank you as my viewer and my listener for the time you take to listen, to watch, to share, and to pray for me. Maybe you are wondering, I don't pray for you, Pastor Florence. It's okay. You can always start praying for me in Jesus' name. We can never have enough of the prayers. I also want to take this opportunity. I feel, I, I barely say this, but of course it goes without saying. I also want to take this opportunity to thank my family, the minors family. They have to deal with you have to bear a lot with me when I'm doing the work of the ministry. Especially when I'm giving the word there. Sometimes I'll be interrupting them and telling them, no noise, no noise, no noise, encouraging my grandkids. And I, 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 I don't take that for granted. And so I want to appreciate all of you, the, final, the minus family from the lowest to the, to the highest. I know <laughs> it's funny. Sometimes my husband will be very busy and once he sees I've gone to record and he'll just get away. Some of these things are not spoken but they mean a lot. They mean a lot. I could not be able to do what I do without a supportive family. They are not so much in the public <laughs> but we are gifted differently and let me tell you they are like a legion that gives me the power to propel to my next level traveling and doing what I do. It takes a supportive family. So all of you, I appreciate you. Mr. Minor, I appreciate you. Uh, my son Moses, I appreciate you. You know, most of the time you want to be with me wherever I go, and because of your work schedule, you are not able to. Thank you, my daughter Esther. You have always been a counselor for me since, you know, you are a very little girl, and now you are mother. And I also want to thank God for my baby, <laughs> oh my goodness, who is turning 21? I can hardly believe it. I thank, I thank God for each one of you. And especially, he has taken the law of taking me to the airport when I'm traveling and in picking me up. They used to switch, but he always want to drive mom. We want to pick up mom. We want to drop up mom. What else would I say? I just want to appreciate you. Some of these things we don't even say, but it goes without saying. You can never do anything if you don't have any support from where you are from. Yes. I want to remind you of my weekly schedule. Monday through Wednesday, I bring inspiration word. Thursdays, celebrating in the kitchen. Fridays, putting on the right gear for the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, I take a break or I can bring you random inspirational message. The reason being that it is good you take care of your staff. And then you prepare to go to church on Sundays. It's good to go to church. Don't say, I listen to Pastor Florence and you give a reason. That's why you don't go to church. No, 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 no. You need to go to church. I also go to church. And I enjoy going to church. Grace Fellowship. May the Lord God bless you. So without further ado, I'm going to be sharing what God has given me this day. And uh, I'll be sharing from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 22 to 24. If you are writing down, and I also refer to Romans 12 verse 1 to 2 in Jesus' name, whether I'm going to read it or not because of time. Let us start with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you. I want to bless your holy name as I share your word, dear Father. Use me as a vessel, me the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee, dear Lord. Take over, take over for my few and my listener. May you reach him or her at the point of her need, at the point of his need, and then the level of her or his comprehension in the name of Jesus. And my Father and my Savior, I'm not ignorant of Satan devises that, that he comes to attack and I want to cover myself with the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet that I may minister under that anointing that breaks every yoke. Spirit of God, take over. At the end of it, dear Father, you shall receive all glory and all honor for you have said you shall never share any glory with any man. I thank you and I adore you. Do only what you can do in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The title of my message today of inspiration will be what you put on and put off matters. What you put on and put off matters. 
Now, the Apostle Paul, writing to the people of the Ephesians, encouraged them and also reminded them of the need to put off. Listen to this. I'm reading from Ephesians, uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22 to 24. This is what uh, the word of God says. Let me start from 20. But you have not so learned Christ, if indeed you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth in, is in Jesus, that you put off, listen here, that you put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful rust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Yes. And that you put on, did you hear that? had rain put off and put on and put on the new man which was created according to God in the in the true righteousness and holiness uh, if I go to Romans I wanted you to read it for yourself but let me just read this one uh, Romans uh, 12 verse 1 to 2 it says I beseech you therefore brethren by the masses of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. May the Lord God bless his word. The reason I have decided to share these words is because, well, as I have said, what we put on and we put off is very important and very significant and recently i went somewhere and i am a very curious person and i'm very observant and i look around and this is what i heard this is what i saw this was what is written your mind is a powerful thing when you fill it with the positive thoughts your life will start to change when you put on a dress like the one I've put on and it is smart. I know that. You look good. When you put off, you are getting rid of some stuff. Your mind to be renewed, you must purpose to put off some things that occupied your mind. What occupies you and what you take determines how you act in your life, day-to-day -day life. So my brother and my sister, if you put on the righteousness of God, you will produce positive things. If you put on complaints, you will produce negative things. If you put on joy, you will produce joy. Let me tell you, my brother and my sister, you can never afford to remain naked. I took a shower and I was naked and I had to put on something the way I um, put on this outfit. My brother and my sister, when we were created in the Garden of Eden, we were, our relationship with God was like this. But when sin came, it separated us. We were left naked of the righteousness of God. And God, in his love and mercy and consideration, redeemed mankind and brought Jesus. Can I try to demonstrate here? Oh, I hope I didn't plan to do this, but let me just try to demonstrate here. Our relationship with God in the beginning was like this. Then when sin came, there was separation. There was separation. There was a gap. And because God loved you and loved me and loved all humanity, he brought in Jesus who became a bridge so that we can reach him through the righteousness of Christ. So if you have been in your old nature, there is still separation and you need to put on the righteousness of Christ. How can you put on the righteousness of Christ unless you have accepted him? And that's why it is good you put off the old nature of sin and put on the newness of Christ that is found in Christ Jesus. You know the things of God are not complicated, but the tradition of men and the teaching of men, like the Pharisees did with the law, 
it makes the things of God so complicated. And that's why you, you see, some, so many people are being misled. You are going here and there to do this and do this, some nonsense things. Because you have not put on the old nature and gotten Christ to connect you to the Lord Jesus. If any person is promising you any, pro, any, any blessing and miracles that are not connected with the word of God, you need to put a question mark and run away from such a gospel in Jesus or de doctrine in Jesus name but any blessings that is in line with the word of god and in line with what the word of god teaches you to do go for it my brother my sister because from genesis to revelation there are all the promises and blessings and miracles of god but you must they must be in line with the word of god so can you put off the ignorance that you have lived in and put on the accepting of the word of god in jesus name let me read that again Okay, verse 22, that you put off, what are you going to put off? Put off negativity, put off complaining, put off crying for nothing, unless you are praying. Yeah? Concerning your former conduct, what was your former conduct? Was it immorality? Put off that spirit. Was it jealousy? Put it off. Yeah. Coda, the old man which grows corrupt according to the city for us. Any former that has not been regenerated or renewed through Jesus Christ will produce things that are not of, not of the spirit. But listen to this. And that you put on the new man which was created according to God. Put on. And that is why, even in Ephesians 6, it says, put on the whole armor of God. You know there is the armor that the people can give you as, you know, when you go to war. But there is another armor of God that is about his word, faith, my brother, my sister. It is my prayer that you know that what you put on and put off matters. As I come to inspire you, may you put on that which is related with the word of God, and then it will produce positivity in Jesus' name. Tell me people who always complain, and I will tell you, they have not put on the, old, the, they have not put on the new nature of Christ. They have not put on the full armor of God. Yes, go to Romans, no, go to Ephesians 6, and from verse 10. Put on the whole armor of God. When you put on that armor of God, whatever happens, you know the battle is not yours. The battle belongs to God and you say, Jehovah Nisi, Mungu wa Israeli. Hey, Jehovah Nisi, Mungu wa Israeli. Hakuna Mungu kama wewe. Hallelujah, Jehovah Nisi, Mungu wa Israeli. Hakuna mugu kama wewe. When you know God fights your battles, because you have put on that armor of God of faith, and you are standing firm in the breastplate, oh my goodness, and the sword of his word, you are going to live, oh, knowing that the battle does not belong to you, it belongs to the Lord. And you'll be able to say and declare and decree, Isaiah 54, 17, that no weapon fashioned against you will prosper, because you have already... Put on the armor of God. You are equipped spiritually. Nobody goes out to war with three man crows. You have to put on. My brother, my sister, you cannot go in this spiritual journey in your own old self. You have to be renewed. So what you put on and what you put off matters. You put on the whole armor of God and you put off every wickedness, everything that is related to this body in the name of Jesus. I'm not saying that you're going to kill yourself. No, I am still Florence. I get hungry and I eat and I eat well. So also what you put on into this stomach matters. What you put on, even the dress I put on matters. If I, if I put on something that is so transparent and showing my inner, inner cross, my brother, my sister, what does that mean? It attracts corruption, corruption of the minds. My brother, my sister, let us put on the new nature of God through Christ Jesus and you will live to enjoy the faithfulness of God. You will live to enjoy your Christian life and you will live even to impact the world in a positive way because your mind is like a computer. What you put is what comes out. Okay? 
the input the output of a computer is determined by the input let me do that again the output of a computer is determined by the input and so also in your mind what you put in determines what you put, what you give out i'm not going to be saying much but i want you to go through the book of ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10 about the full armor of god the other day the you know i think is it or oh, in a one my grandkids did that and it was such a blessing when they would come and tell me about the armor uh, of faith, the sword of the, oh my goodness, it was so sweet. And now you put off the old nature and you put on the new nature of the man, Jesus Christ. May the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember my weekly schedule, Monday through Wednesday, Inspirational Word. Like today is one of those things by a vision word. Thursday celebrating in the kitchen because what we put in this body also determines how our health will be. Then Fridays putting on the right gear for the weekend. My brother, my sister, let you be tuned and stay connected and knowledgeable so that you know what you put on and put off matters a lot in life. Father, I thank you for your word. May the Holy Spirit water this word to bring for the fruits of encouragement, of equipping, of mentoring, that the man and woman of God under the sound of my voice will be fully equipped for the journey of this uh, life we are living in. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now, for me to put on this dress and to put off the, the one I had at night, it called for my action, my personal. I am married. My husband could not dress me unless maybe I'm sick, right? I can't dress him. So it is personal. You are there. You have never given your life to the Lord. I want you to say this prayer by faith that you be transformed. You put off the old nature and put on the new nature of Christ in Jesus' name. Do you want to say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come to you. Thank you for your word. I am putting off my old nature of sin. And I'm putting on the nature of righteousness through you, Christ. Forgive my sins. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life because the Bible says, Behold, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old, the old is gone and the new has come. Now start walking in the newness of life. But two things are important. Testimony of what has happened in your life. It is so sweet to walk with Jesus. You cannot deny it. You can Taste something good and feel to give to your friends. So, test why what has happened. Also, look for a rock or church where you can be able to say showers of blessing like the other day I posted in a story. But, you know, I took a picture in church. You know, it is good you have a rock or church where you will go, be equipped. Right now, my pastor is not with me here, but I've been equipped, I've been fed, and I'm feeding you. What you are feeding is a What I'm feeding you with is a chain. I am fed at Grace Fellowship and I go to feed other people. Also, look for a mentor. I have mentors. God bless you, my mentors. I love you all. And I did respect you. And as we continue in this, this month of October, I want to appreciate all the men and women of God. I want to appreciate all the pastors. I want to appreciate all my mentors. I want to appreciate every man and woman of God who dedicate themselves to serve the Lord. May the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. And remember to celebrate every moment. Not just celebrating, but celebrating it with joy. Why? Every moment counts. Every moment matters. Thank you. And subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. If you have subscribed, Encourage somebody else to subscribe. What is the importance of subscribing? You don't, and you, then you put on the no notification. You don't miss any of the messages if I don't send you, you know, through WhatsApp and all that. Some people say, these days I never receive your messages. Please, subscribe. That's an indication you have not subscribed. Subscribe. Share with other people. Pray for me. How do you pray for Pastor Flores? EGL, extra grace required, so that I can be able to deliver this message that God has given me, faith and pray, and that I can continue to get enough grace from my family who copes with me all the time when I'm inconvenient, their schedules. Sometimes I'll go to the kitchen, I'll be putting them up, and then they know I'm there, they are passing, this, and I tell them they don't want to appear there, just pass, I'll, I'm, I'm recording. My God, please, I tell them, please don't make noise for the next 20 minutes, and they are very obedient. May the Lord God bless you. I can never do this without the grace of God. Thank you very much. Yeah.